fundamentally we should understand our position in the scheme of things we are very very insignificant tiny jiva whether in the spiritual world or in the material world whether under illusion or in the liberated condition we are always tiny so what is our capacity to know or understand or comprehend or uh, uh, figure out that itself we have to consider then we can begin to actually uh, follow the right process that's why in the beginning of chaitanya charitamrita krishna das kaviraj goswami points out that every condition soul has got four defects now somebody may say that oh, okay as long as i am conditioned i have these defects once i become liberated then i don't have these defects but to become liberated itself and become free from these defects the process to be adopted is the is the question mark what process can i adopt so the only process that works for becoming free from this conditioning is devotional service and simultaneously devotional service also reveals to us uh, what is our actual position even in the liberated condition the defect with any other process of trying to achieve liberation from this conditioning is that the process may mislead us into uh, thinking that we are god or i am non different from god in different ways the same thing is expressed in different ways to put it very bluntly one foolishly thinks he is god or he has become god or he was always god somehow temporarily some control was lost and now i regain back my control so this foolishness is another feature of the influence of the illusory energy the very reason why we are conditioned is because we are under the influence of illusion and that illusory energy's influence extends even beyond the state of uh, this conditioning even in the uh, so called liberated condition that is described in the bhagavatam as vimukta maninah ye anye aravindaksha vimukta maninah those who are not devotees of krishna even if they perform severe austerities they undertake all kinds of process other than bhakti to become liberated from these conditions from these conditionings still they may come to a state where they consider themselves liberated while actually they are not liberated so real liberation is only for devotees or those who have reached the uh, the the state of uh, becoming or reinstating themselves as devotees of krishna all others are not liberated whatever their condition may be 